Hello, my name is Cristina Arata. I take care of the export business in our group of companies, Italardesia and Euroslate. I would like to tell you briefly in this video the story of how billiard slates are produced in our companies. Behind me lies the valley of Fontana Buona, where all the Italian billiard slates are processed and exported worldwide. The valley of Fontana Buona lies east of Genoa, close to the eastern Riviera in the Ligurian region, in the northwestern part of Italy. Down there you can see Italardesia, where we processed mainly slates in three pieces uh, for the U.S. market, as well as the big 12-foot uh, full-size uh, snooker tables. Nearby is Euroslate, uh, where we produce mainly one-piece slates. Uh, Italardesia and Euroslate uh, belong to the brothers Vittorio Terzo and Vittorio Quarto Arata, better known by friends and the industry as Danny and Cici. The Arada brothers are the last generation of a family who started a quarrying slate as early as 1804. Now we will start with the story of how billiard slates are produced. We start our journey by taking a helicopter ride from the valley of Fontana Buona, heading west. On our way, we fly over Genoa, part of the Italian Riviera, to our final destination, which is the quarrying operation in the Sanremo region, close to the village of Triora. The largest quarries are located west of the city of Genoa, very close to the French border. They are all underground. Slate does not pop out of a mountainside, cut to size, and complete with a smooth surface and six pockets cut. There is a long process before achieving this, which I will show you now. Italian slate, as I told you before, is all quarried from vast underground layers. The slate veins lie between two sandstone layers, called the roof and the floor. Quarrying begins with opening a hole in the mountainside where the slate vein appears to be. The opening is made and enlarged by explosives until large enough for quarrying machinery to enter. The slate being layered is cut into blocks of different sizes as required by the market. A special hydraulic chainsaw cuts the blocks out of the layers. When all four sides of the block are sewn, the block is then split from the vein using a jackhammer. The block is then removed from the quarry to a staging area where it is being kept moist by being wrapped in plastic until it starts the machining process at the factory approximately 150 miles away. It is important to keep the blocks from drying out before being sewn, otherwise they become brittle and useless. Every day, two or three truckloads of raw blocks, each load approximately 65,000 pounds, leave the quarries for the factory. Each load roughly equals a finished 20-foot container of billiard slates.
As soon as the blocks are unloaded at the factory, the machining process begins. Slate finishing is a multi-step process, utilizing the most modern equipment in the industry today. Step one is the gang saw, a highly specialized machine. Each gang saw utilizes 50 to 80 diamond teeth blades, depending on the thickness desired. The thickness of the slabs after sawing is approximately one eighth of an inch thicker than the finished product would be. The next step is to transfer the batch of stone slabs to a computerized laser cutting machine to be cut to the exact size desired. Both sides are cut at the same time to ensure a perfectly straight cut. The trim slabs are now assembled as a complete three-piece set, ready for the first operation, that is grinding the back side. After that, the slate is automatically turned over to the next step, which is the cutting of the pockets through a computerized machine programmed at the beginning of the process. The slate set proceeds then to the next step through a multi-head automatic hole drilling machine. The location of the many drills is carefully predetermined according to the pattern desired. After the hole drilling, the slate set proceeds to the second grinding machine for final top surface finishing of the playfield. This leaves the playing surface perfectly flat. Obviously, any defective piece of slate which is detected during the entire process is discarded. All excess water is removed by running the slate set through a drying machine. Finally, the slate is ready for curing, leaning in what will become its final packaging. Final inspection and marking with our company's name and date of production is being made before the crates are closed. The slates are now ready to be shipped worldwide.
On the left hand side of the factory, there is a special assembly line for the processing of the full size snooker tables. This is a special hole pattern which requires carefully handling of the holes with the help of a specially made steel jig. Overseas shipments are always made in containers since this system of shipping was introduced. Crates are carefully hand loaded into the container and securely blocked for shipment throughout the world. The slave now starts its long journey. I think you can see by this video the dedication and financial commitment of our group to supplying the pool and billiard industry throughout the world a top quality product backed by unsurpassed service in our industry.